Everybody, look on the screen. Why is she out there in our cute little jacket on the screen? Well, well, I can say it seems we have another case of America's teens, or maybe America's terrorist. Here we go. We can tell you investigators have been out here for about 12 hours. Once you look down this road, you can see where a white tent is. That's close to where deputies were called in this morning. They say that's where this tragedy unfolded. This incident was a very contained tragedy. A tragedy that took place in a fall city hall. On Lake Atlas Road, 911 calls about gunfire started coming in just before 5 a.m. When King County Sheriff's deputies arrived, they found five people dead. These included two uh, adults and three juveniles. Deputy Mike Mellis says an arrest was made. So they immediately took one uh, young male, teenage male, into custody. They discovered that there was, in fact, one injured teenager. The victim was rushed to the hospital while more law enforcement moved in, including the sheriff. When I first learned of this this morning, the undersheriff called me to notify me. Very, very sad, very disturbed. And I remember when I was over, over my house, you know, we were next door, so the kids would come over. Neighbors say they woke up to this crime scene and the devastating news. I just, just in time, wish I could keep bursting into tears. That's why I have to go to my, my daughter's house because I can't be there on my own. I just, I just keep seeing the faces of those children. It's beyond belief, and we've gotten to know some of the kids that unfortunately lived at the home, and you know, the younger kids, especially the sweetest children, um, so polite, homeschooled, and it's just it's unfathomable what just happened. We are going to be here as an investigative team for days. Here, they're collecting evidence and searching for answers as to why five people were killed in one fall city home. And hopefully will come to some kind of a conclusion as to why this happened. And a spokesperson for Harborview Medical Center says a person who was injured out here, a female, is in satisfactory condition. Joyce? I mean, there are so many questions around this, Natalie. The sheriff says that they're going to be investigating this possibly for days. Why is it going to take that long? Well, they tell us that this is a complicated crime scene. Washington State Patrol is being called in to handle the forensic analysis examination at the home and the Sheriff's Department's major crimes unit. They're going to be taking the lead on this case. They say there's still lots of evidence to get. Okay, everybody, you saw Part A. Stick around for Part B. Unbelievable. The commentary.